In Glenbrook Ravine Park, it's unlikely that anyone living around here realizes that this is part of the BC Penitentiary grounds and a small uh, graveyard exists just out of sight here, the last resting place of over 43 BC Penitentiary inmates.
the cemetery is stuck up on the hill uh, on the, the south side of the ravine. We're basically surrounded on three corners by residential area. I noticed that at no point did they have a gate coming into this place, almost like they want to deny its existence. Uh, and why wouldn't they? This is a very private little uh, cemetery for people that didn't do good in life. Uh, the sad part for me, and I'm definitely conflicted about it, is the fact that I'm all for firm punishments, but there's something just, it's just sad, it has a sense of almost being wrong, that this little forgotten piece of ground houses these men who, who did not do good. Now, many of them were interned here uh, between, between 1912 and 1968. Uh, some were hung, some just died of natural causes, others uh, committed suicide. But th make no mistake, this is not like a regular cemetery. This is not hallowed ground. This isn't where you, you, you know, bury Aunt Martha after a nice long life. This is, again, a place of um, where, where the end came to, in some cases, evil. Now, prisoner 9720, and, and that's how these graves are identified with uh, no names, no dates, just a prisoner number. But I thought if I brought to life, so to speak, uh, a couple of these numbers, you might appreciate this little hidden square uh, hidden in New Westminster. Uh, prisoner 9720 is Donald Batu. In the pen, four times for sex offenses. He died from a fall from a truck on the grounds, and he ha although he had family, uh, no one came to claim his body, and he rests here. Now there's about 43 marked, uh, if you can find the headstones, most of them are overgrown. Now, the prisoners, uh, inmates themselves, made the nails, made the coffins, and made the headstones for this cemetery. Uh, back in the uh, 40s, uh, one of the First Nations uh, people buried against the ravine over here, he, there was a bit of a slide and it revealed part of his uh, coffin. And uh, they sent up a detail and they reinterned him here. He was later disinterned again and taken back to his village over in Vancouver Island. Another prisoner here, prisoner number 92938, Reg Colplitz. He killed a prison guard back east and was sentenced to life here in the BC pen. He escaped that sentence, not by leaving the place, uh, so to speak. He's resting here too. He committed suicide two years into his sentence at 21 years of age. Another uh, person here, prisoner number 1948. He's the first grave on this site, officially. Now, it's in 1913. There's believed to be three or four graves here unmarked that were done in 1912. His name was Jin O Kim. Uh, most just called him Jim with a G. And he's resting here, their headstones. Um, a lot of them have sunk out of sight. Uh, some are under bram bramble bushes. I'm here just before Halloween in 2013. And I just feel that this 100 plus year old graveyard uh, of prisoners should be cared for and protected. Thanks for your time. John Mitchell, bcghosttowns.com.